Give me one word that defines Acme Harvesty. Integrity. 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 Passion. Fun. I'll say dynamic. One word I would use to describe Acme Hardesty is family. I would say respect. And, and I would say from the top of the company to the bottom, we respect each other and, and we care about each other. There is no one here that ever has a meanness or a, a, a maliciousness. It makes for a better day for everybody and a better business. One of the things that I'm very, very proud of uh, working at Acme Hardesty is the inclusivity that we have created as part of the organization. It's not just something that's on a website, it's rather something that we live with every day. One of my mantras is you have to have the right products, you have to have the right people, and you have to have the right processes to be successful. In order to drive results, you can't just give individuals activities or responsibilities. Our experiences drive our beliefs, and the belief system that we have is really what drives our actions, and that in turn drives results. What are the things that we need to think about working on so that we can move that culture to the next level to achieve the results that we want to have at the next level. And so from that, we came up with six cultural beliefs. Process perfect, peak performance, superior service, continuous learning, respectful relationships, and team one. It's one of the things I really love about Acme. They have a cultural belief slide and they have a key metric slide. And it's all on one piece of paper so they know exactly what they believe in and then you flip it over and you know what they're measured on. And I think ultimately, if you don't have the connection of the beliefs to your actual results, one of those two is gonna fail. Every few years, we get every employee together and we evaluate these six cultural beliefs. At the end of the day, they present to me the new beliefs that we have and it's really powerful to see how they change and how they evolve and then how some just stay the same because respectful relationships, that's not gonna change. That, that's always gonna be there as long as I'm here. When I first started with the company, I had no idea what I was getting into. The past president of Acme had called me and said, Doug, we've got a big problem. I'd only been there like six months. And we've got a deal that's gone bad. It's not going to work. I mean, we're going to lose a lot of money. And I immediately started thinking of ways to get out of it. So I went into Phil's office and I told him what was going on. And he only asked me one question, only one. He goes, did we give them our word? I said, we did. He goes, do the deal. He never asked how much it was going to cost. It was a lot of money. He just said, do it. I walked out of that office and I said, that's how we're going to run this company. And I learned that day and I impart that on everybody that works here. I count it as much as luck as a blessing that I'm here, that I go to work every day and I look forward to it. No matter what, we're here to support our employees because we adore and we love them and we really truly all care about each other here. We're here to help support our families and support our employees and, and I think they feel that. The balance of getting to work with people you like, getting to ultimately know their families, getting to help support them and ultimately serving customers and being in a good place that you trust people. All of those things together, I've had one or two of those things in different companies, but never all of that at the same time.